Hello and welcome to this new lesson in, for ArcGIS Pro. But you can see there is no ArcGIS Pro at my screen right now because we would like to have a quick insight on the whole infrastructure that comes with your license that is called ArcGIS Online. And you have seen maybe in the installation video that uh, I do have some credits there so I can use ArcGIS Online for some analysis or from st for storing data and sharing data as well. So let's have a look on what is ArcGIS Online and how can I work with that. And uh, yeah, I would like to give you a quick insight there. So when you're logged in in ArcGIS.com, you will be presented with your home um, with your home page. Now it's listening here, Digital Geography. I can edit the home page, but we will not deal with that at the moment because we would like to have a look at the gallery. So I'm going now to the gallery. Now this is the gallery for my content, gallery for Digital Geography. As I have not created anything right now, there is nothing to share, right? But we can have a look and see whether others on ArcGIS Online have published already some content here. So let's have a look for recent earthquakes, right? Maybe we are interested in this. Just click on search. And once again, it's searching first in your own content. So it really, it really thrives you to upload your content and to share your content with others on ArcGIS Online. But it would don't don't would like to uh, have a look only in my content. I would like to have a look inside the whole um, inside the whole um, ArcGIS online content. And I see here now different items. I'm just interested in maps, in web maps here. Maybe and these are all the web maps that are available. Let's have a look on different map styles here. Recent earthquakes. There are some. Uh, maps by different users that are shared with the public. But um, let's remove that and uh, let's have a look here on that one. Recent earthquakes, it's a feature layer, and there's a web map and stuff like that. So let's have a look here on this one. Just clicking, clicking on it. And I can now open this in the map viewer. There are different options here. I can also open it up in ArcGIS, uh, ArcMap, or ArcGIS Pro. But let's open this up inside the web map viewer. Just clicking there. Now there's the normal uh, view where I can see that there are different uh, items here added to the uh, to the uh, map folder. But let's go back once more. And let's open this up to a new map. Yes, I would like to open this up in a new map just to share what is inside the data originally. So it was not altered by myself. That is the data as it is shipped in ArcGIS on it. So we have a base map here. Um, then there's then there are two layers on it. Recent earthquakes, shake intensity, and recent earthquakes events by magnitude. Um, these are the two different information layers. I can change the base map quite easily. So let's maybe use an oceans-based web map here or even better have a web uh, have a base map with less impact from a visual perspective now um, there are um, different items here I can click on an, on an item and what I can see then I see here in somehow altered um, pop-up and it says okay I have a magnitude I have the depth value I have the time value I have some um, distance value that is shared with me, so, but let's have a look on the on the uh, attribute table itself. So, of course, we differentiate between geographical information that is latitude, longitude, height, maybe, or depth. Uh, so, where is it, and what is it? The attribute value. So, let's have a look here on the attributes. Right. So, here there's a show table function. I'm using this now, and I can see a different events, event types. And there I can sort it as scanning or descanning. Accessing area has failed, so let's go back again. Oh, was not working. And I have magnitude, which I can sort as well. 
but you can see that it is not working quite cool so if i'm using the sortation i have 5.0 and then it goes somewhere uh, so let's go back to the scan descending um, we're starting with the 7.8 earthquake here so let's use this one and let's go to the show selected records there's up there uh, southeast of the Aleuts and I do have different items here that or different attributes like the event type significance and so on but maybe let's have a look first at the whole setup so we do have some different items here like details where we have the information about what we see right now at the screen we can add some layers from our self content or from others that are shared or information that is shared with the organization or with the uh, with multiple users um, then there is a the base map setting where you can select the base map you have some analysis so for analysis sometimes you need some credits sometimes you don't depends on what sort of analysis you would like to do on the data that is added to the web map itself then you have some different tools like here like save share print obvious to save it in your own organizational account like an own pub map with a new name you can share the current setup with the public you can print it out of course with a legend or without then you have directions that is a to b routing for different routing start uh, routing types here and um, with different options different ways of mode um, then you have a measure tool where you can measure distances as well as areas and you can select some bookmarks so if you would like to add a bookmark for that certain area we are looking at it right now so let's have a look here at Eliuton or oh, it's Eliots, I think um, then this is a bookmark now you might have seen that this layer here well where's the attribute table right this layer is auto um, auto um, activating so it always fetches the latest data so once we are here and it has a new data set in there the attribute table is uh, somehow flushed and you need to re um, sort the current web map let's close this let's have a look here back again to the um, recent earthquakes so we have here um the legend where you can see legend for the entries we have the attribute tables we have seen um a few minutes ago then we have the change style so you can alter the style what we are seeing right now you can use some filtering as well as some clustering so i can cluster the points right now let's go here now you see that there that there are just a few points enabled here and once i'm going with less clustering the amount of information that I see without any differentiation is getting bigger so I'll put a will cancel this right now and we have here some points and there are different options here as well so there's a refresh in the wall and you can see that this layer is refreshing every five minutes so it grabs the latest data from the USGS and put it on the map that's quite cool at, uh, itself but um, once we are having some sort of information here we, we might would like to change the map right so currently we have a light gray canvas we have the recent earthquakes shake intensity let's switch this layer off i don't want this to be here right now and maybe also remove it we are not removing the content uh, from the uh, from the owner or something like that we are just removing it from the current bad map that is here part of my new map right so i'll remove this one here now this is called recent earthquakes um, and we would like to add some new content here we are searching for layers and what we are searching is we are not searching in my content because i don't have anything right now we are searching on arcgenas online and once you go there you see more than ten thousand layers that is quite a lot so let's add some uh, tectonic plagues plates press enter let's look here we will use this one you can click on it so you will get some some um, preview of the information that is there we would like to add it to a map or you can 
instantaneously added to the map here. Let's remove this. And now I do have the tectonic plates there as well. Let's close the um, add section here as well. Let's go have a look here on the tectonic plate boundaries. You can configure the pop-up. Currently, all the list field attributes are there. And um, we can configure the attributes so we can add the object ID, which does not make so much sense at, at the moment because the object ID is just an identifier. So let's click on here. So I have now object ID in type converging. So this is one possibility. I can also reorder the current setup. So if I would like to have that one layer up and above, you see the changing. I can put it everywhere I want. I can also select to um, have here labels on the boundaries. Now you can see converging and only the boundary type does not make so much sense, but you can, as said, said change the value that should be shown. You can go with the object ID and the current setup or with the type. You can alter some, some fonts and, and styling. So you can really play around with the, uh, with the map that is currently here. So we'll, but I'll now remove the labels. Manage label. I don't want to have the label features here. Now, this is the current setup. So I would like to save it. Save as. Let's add a recent earthquakes and tectonic plates. I can add some te text now to make it easier to find it afterwards. Plates, tectonic, and earthquakes. These are my tags. I do have a short quick map of earthquakes. And this is saved in my home folder, Geo 2020 Let's press and save map. Now this is now part of my content. So if I'm going, if I go here to gallery, let's open this up in a new tab here. I can see that I have now one content here. I don't have any data at the moment. So I just have the composition of the files um, added to my content. So let's go back here. You can also click to share the map. So once you are have or you have the possibility, or you can share it with everyone in, in the public, or you can select just to share it you know, inside your own domain, digital geography. So inside your own organization, and you, there are other um, possibilities as well. First of all, let's share it with. Uh, everyone and once you are once you have enabled everyone you can embed it inside a website so you can add some different tools so what should the user be able to do with the map right uh, you can select the theme of the content uh, you can add some symbols here um, that should be shown directly on the web map itself and so on. So that's quite cool feature to share with the public, and you can easily just select and copy then the HTML snippet here. The on the I think it should be an iframe, um, and embed it into your web map. That's a quite cool feature. So let's just press done, and we are ready to go with this web map to be embedded in your own organization and own web page. That's it for the moment. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if there are any questions, just drop me a comment below. Otherwise, subscribe, take care, and goodbye.